I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question which has been doubt for many students. We'll look into details how do we solve and find the resultant force when a boat is being tugged by two. Let us look into the solution and enjoy the journey of success. The x component is is going in this direction, right? You right. Can see this. Hi, Akshat. How are you doing? Hi, yes, sir. I'm doing well. How are you? Very good. Very good. So today, what do you want to learn? Sir, today I was hoping we can discuss uh, the cross product. Sure. Yeah. 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 Do you have any questions from whatever you've done at school so far? Yes, sir. I actually do. Um, I came across this question in my textbook, and it, it was a bit complicated. So I was hoping we can go over it. Sure. So share that question. Let me explain you. And then yeah. we'll begin with cross product. Sure. Okay. Yeah, you I'll can just share my it. screen. Yeah. Number 18, sir. Okay, yeah. Can you please read the question? Yes, sir. Two tugs are towing a ship. The smaller tug is 15 degrees off the port bow, and the larger tug is 20 degrees off the starboard bow. Now, the larger tug pulls twice as hard as the smaller tug. In what direction will the ship move? Got it. So here, uh, why students find it difficult is because of the two terms used. So let's try to understand uh, what are these two terms. So yeah. port bow and the starboard bow, right? So these are the two technical terms which are being used, right? So right. so two tugs are towing a ship. So let us say that this is our ship. Let's let, let me just draw a ship, something like this, right? So yeah. where the the two points which they're kind of hooks here do you understand yeah so so that if the ship is being tugged then you can clamp on this right and then tug it do you see that pulling do you understand yes sir so this particular point on the left side is the port bow and the okay. other side is the star bow they just name it so it's very Easy, like you go to the, go go and uh, clamp it to the star bow, right? So yeah. to the all the people working on the ship, they know what yeah. exactly is to be done. Right? So it makes things very easy for them to communicate. Now let's look into the question. It says the smaller tug is fifteen degrees off the port bow. It really means so in navigation we normally use directions from north. Yeah. So 15 degrees is this degree which they are talking about. Do you get the idea? Yes, sir. And from the other, it is 20 degrees. So, so from the north, this angle is 20 degrees. Yeah. Then they have also said that the larger tug pulls twice as hard as the smaller. So let us say if this force is F, then the other force is 2F. 2F. You get the idea? Yes, now, sir. In what direction will the ship move? That means we have to find the resultant, correct? All right. So let me just uh, share with you a uh, whiteboard and then we can continue there. Make a bigger yeah. diagram. That's, uh, and then uh, uh, it'll be easy for us to yeah. solve the question. Right? So basically what we have done here is look at the ship as such. Okay, it's not that symmetrical. Okay, so okay. now where well, we are saying that these are the two points of interest where this is being pulled at an angle. I'm making it purposely wider so that it helps yeah. to understand the situation better, right? So, and this force, if it is F, then this force is 2F. Yeah. Got it. So we have to find the resultant force. Best way. What do you suggest? How do we find the resultant force in this case? Sir, I, I say we can form a triangle, right? But better will be resolve these forces into their x and y okay. components. components. Right? Yeah. So for 2f, the x component will be what? This is 20, right? So if you see the x component is sine theta, right? Right. Or you could you could write this as 80 degrees, and then you can also split. So, yeah. so f of the second force, let me write two x component will be 
in, in terms of 20, let's write down, will be 2f sin 20 degrees, correct? And, and so if we were using, we using cosine, it would be 70 degrees, right? 88, or oh, 70, yeah, 70, 90, 70. So yeah. 2y component will be 2f cos of 20 degrees, correct? 20 degrees, yeah. In this case, it will be f. 1 x component is f of sine 15 degrees because that is this component, right? Do you understand? Right. Opposite right. to 15, therefore sine. Yeah. And y component will be f cos of 15 degrees. Is it okay? Yeah. So now, what is the resultant? Let's say resultant x component will be add these x components. They are in yeah. the opposite direction, right? So we keep it right. right Going where our nomenclature is, this is positive and this is negative. Is it okay? Negative. Yeah. Up is positive, and therefore we'll write this as positive. So we'll write 2f sine of 20 degrees minus f sine Sine. of 15 degrees, right? You can right. plug in and calculate the value. Yeah. Similarly, the y component will be 2f cos of 20 degrees plus, because both are pointing up, right? Up, right. F of cos of 20 degrees, correct? Correct. Now, can you find what is 2 sine 20 plus sine 15? Yes, sir. I'll just do that. Minus sine 15. And what two is sin- uh, 2 cos 20? Plus. So for um, the resultant x, the force inside the bracket would be 0. 0.425. And this will be how much? And that will be 2.819. Got it? Yeah. So therefore, now you get the resultant force. You are mainly interested in the angle, right? Right. So, as you can see, the resultant which you have got here is the y component, which is Ry, which is given to you as 2.819, right? Right. And the the x component is is going in this direction, right? Right. And so, that is your angle, correct? Yeah. So, now you use tan theta, right? Yes. So, you say tan theta is equal to, which is from the horizontal. Do you see? This is horizontal. The yeah. yeah. From the horizontal. Tan theta is 2.819F divided by 0.425F. FF cancel, correct? Correct. So what is theta equals to? Theta is equal to 81.43, sir. Round it to the nearest one. Okay. So 81.43 is your theta. And we want to give the angle from the north, right? So from right. the north, it is 90 minus this. How much do you get? So you get 8.57. That is your answer. So from the north, it will be 8.57. Is it okay? So you'll we'll oh, say okay. so you'll we'll say from north, the answer will be from north 8.57 degrees east. Is it okay? Yes, sir. So that is how you're going to answer this question. Is it absolutely clear to you? Yes, sir. It makes much more sense now. Perfect. That is how you should give. All the angles in the navigation should be given from the north. Many times we use bearing angle, right? So, if I have to write bearing angle, I will write bearing of what is the bearing? So, it's measured from the north, right? 008.57 degrees. Three place values we have to give. Not just 8.57. So, it is going at a bearing of 008.57 degrees. You get the idea? Yeah. So measure from the north clockwise. So that is your solution for the given question. Perfect? Yes, sir. Perfect. Clear. Perfect. Now, let's be.